All right, Click Funnels One Funnel Away Challenge has just gotten good. Day number one of week number one. Which is actually eight days into the 30 day challenge. Who knew? <laughs> All right, let's get right into it. All right, what's up, everybody? We are on day one of the actual challenge. The pre-training week is over. And don't let me confuse you but when I say day one. We are actually eight days into the 30-day challenge. Uh, but we are technically, we did seven days for the pre-training week. It was kind of a mindset week. If you have not watched those, go back and watch them. I'll post a card up in the corner. But yeah, definitely check those out. That way you get, you get caught up with everything that goes on the 30 day challenge. If you have not subscribed, definitely do that now. Hit the notification so you get all the updates in the future as well. We are on day one, week one, which is technically day eight. That is extremely annoying, by the way. <laughs> Thanks, ClickFunnels. Anywho, now, there is actually good information today. Basically, he, he goes over uh, the three core markets, health, wealth, and relationships, and how to pick what market you're gonna be in. From there, you gotta kinda figure out what your niche is, so you you, uh, you pick your market, your core market, and then you find out what sub-market it fits in, and then you kinda go a little further and find your niche. Now, if you don't have a product yet, then pick a product, it could be anything at that point, so just pick a market you like, pick a niche you like, and Boom, offer hack some people and get a product. Now, he actually does touch on uh, offer hacking in this video a little bit, and Steve Larson actually pops up in the middle of the video because uh, apparently what he was showing in the original recording is outdated. Uh, so, Steve Larson jumps in there and explains how to do it. Uh, the next thing he goes into is, is hook story offer. He kind of touches that on, or in on that a little bit, he doesn't go into a lot of detail. Um, I'm sure we're going to be hearing that a lot about that here. And after he talks about the hook story and offer, he does uh, explain that the homework for today is basically going in and finding competitors in your niche and offer hacking them. Uh, you can do it with either buying their product or you can just go and look at their stuff. Obviously buying the product and going through their funnel is going to be more accurate. Uh, but at this point in the game, I'm not 100% sure it's necessary, and he also says the same thing in the video. So, buy it if you want, don't buy it if you don't want to. Uh, we'll have to go into that a little more later. Uh, he does touch quickly on how to increase value and how to make your offer better, uh, so it kind of puts you ahead of the crowd in your niche as well. Uh, but yeah, that's basically the full video. Alright, and the very next video is Julie's. I think I might have watched these out of order. Because Steven talks about Julie's video and what we'll see. But I watched Julie's video first. And all she does is walk you through offer hacking. She kind of picks a random subject. I think it was piano playing. And she starts, you know, just trying to find. And she shows you everything she's doing on screen. So you get to see uh, exactly how she finds these funnels, how she's funnel hacking them. She doesn't actually buy the product, obviously. But she does find the funnel she wants to do an offer hack on she kind of figures out everything they're selling and stuff and you get to you get to kind of do it with her that's pretty cool it's not too long of a video and this is the first video of julie so far in the 30 day challenge coming in at day number eight uh steve larson he covers a lot and frankly i don't think i did enough notes to do him justice here uh, but he he covers a lot uh, he also talks about the uh core markets or what he calls them as core desires health wealth relationships he actually goes in a different direction with Russell, where Russell says you find your niche. Steve Larson's more like pick a core desire and funnel hack people, create an offer that is better than everyone's in the market, and then market it back to the main market. So, I mean, unless I misunderstood that, if anyone's watching this and has watched the same video and disagrees with how I got that information, then, you know, post below. Let everyone else know. That way there's more opinions than just my own. But that's kind of what I got out of it. It was a very long video. But yeah, he he, uh, he mentions that you can only sell in one of the core markets or to one of the core desires. If you're trying to sell into two, it's going to create confusion. 
And uh, like Russell always says, a confused mind always says no. So you only want to sell into one market. When you are funnel hacking, according to Steve Larson, you need to find out what they are selling and how they are selling it. There's a reason for this. What they are selling and how they are selling it. Basically, you're going to go find everything that uh, everyone in your market is selling. Put it on a list. So you have like a whole huge list of everything. And then you just go through that list and kind of select things off that lift, list that you can bundle together and into a, a an offer. So you, you kind of bundle everything together that is cost efficient for you, but also raises the value to a whole different level on your offer. And then you just sell your offer that is better than everyone else's now back to the original market and to their customers even. And he does uh, also show us a website called Similar Web. Uh, you basically just find a competitor and put in their URL in there and it'll bring up their statistics. So here's Similar Web. Basically, you just type in the URL up top, hit enter, and it brings you up the statistics. I would give you an example, but I've actually been having trouble with Similar Web. When I put in a URL, it says not enough data or something like that. Now, I have found out that once you create a trial for this, I know. Uh, at that point, it brings up all the data for all the stuff they didn't previously have data for. So that, that seems kind of fishy. But I did sign up for the, the trial, and it, was, it did give a lot of information, like literally everything you could want. It provides competitors to that particular web or uh, URL, all kinds of stuff. Actually, here, let me just sign in real quick. All right. Yeah, see up here it says I'm in a trial. But yeah, um, I did have to enter in a URL I own, so if you don't have your own domain name or website, I don't think you can even get a trial. I don't know what that's about. I'm assuming they just want to compare you to everyone else. I don't know. The website that didn't have enough data previously now seems to all of a sudden have data. But yeah, like as you can see, it, it shows tons of data. Like they get 9% of their traffic on social, 46.46 or 44.46% organic, which is insane. And then a lot of direct, which I'm assuming that just means like repeat customers. They're not doing any email marketing. They don't do referrals and they don't do paid traffic apparently. And all their traffic comes from the United States. That's interesting. And looks like people are actually searching for them specifically. So it's probably a lot of word of mouth organic traffic, which is good for them. Like I said, gives a lot of gives a lot of data. Oh, here's the competitors. Here's the Haribo company, which also I scanned by the way, and it said it didn't have any data. Doesn't have any data yet. It's ranked 600,000 in the world. But yeah, I don't know if they changed something since uh, they did the videos it doesn't work unless you have an account now for some reason or at least it didn't work for me at this particular time doesn't mean it's not going to work tomorrow he also said that this blueprint this process that they're, they're teaching us is for all businesses for physical products info products services lead generation anything you always use the same method to build the funnel it works for all of them you just kind of got to tweak some things here and there uh, that, that's basically the summary of Stevens in a very <sighs> chopped down version of it so let's let's head on to Jim Edwards video here Jim Edwards mentions that uh, you need to pay attention while looking for copy studying other people and like hacking them uh, you need to pay attention to headlines bullet points promises uh, payoffs problems desires and deliverables you also need to pay attention to the story they use uh, is it about the person uh, is it about the customer is it about uh, the product? Uh, there's always going to be a story in there. You got to pay attention to that. When I say the headlines, it's literally all headlines above anything that that they have posted, uh, sub headlines, stuff like that. Any bullet points? Bullet points are generally stuff that they want to stick in the customer's mind. So that's something you have to pay attention to. Uh, promises, obviously, uh, if they're promising to do something, then that garners attention. 
payoffs, obvious, that's an obvious one as well. Kind of like the same thing from the keyword research you had us do a couple days ago. Uh, you list your payout, your desires and your payoffs for those desires. They kind of go hand in hand. Problems is, well, that's, that's the same thing. We've already listed a lot of those from before. Uh, deliverables, what they're selling. Pay attention to that. And, and that's, if you're doing what Steve said, then you're already doing that anyways. That's the summary of his. He did go over and offer a, a wizard. He has another wizard to use. So you jump over to his copy hacks, and then you scroll down to access the wizard. And I'm going to leave a link to this down below. It, it is free to use for, I believe, everyone. I'm going to leave a link down there if you want to check it out. You can. But you just put in your keyword topic, and then you have stuff down here to check out. It says click through each and every one to figure out what you can find out, you know? And you don't have to type anything in, it's already ready. Just check out everything, go down, scroll down, read these down here, the related to Haribo thing. Uh, and this will all help you fill out those papers from before as well, so I don't know why he didn't offer this earlier. This would have been really useful. This would have saved a lot of time. And then it also is connected to the Google Trends, so you can see if it's trending. Ah, see Haribo's is actually going down lately. But, yeah, it's actually in a pretty long downtrend for about eight years. I'm sorry, five years. But hey, it's the niche we're doing. Keep scrolling down. That's your Google research. Then you do your video research, search on YouTube, find, uh, you know, popular people on here. Then obviously you got the Google videos. And then you look for podcasts. I highly doubt there's any podcasts. There's an eBay community on it, though. Okay. But yeah, you just go down to each one and see what you can find out. Try to answer the questions. Uh, to pay attention to all the stuff he was talking about. You get the point. That's that's the wizard. Like I said, I'm going to leave a link down in the description. Just check it out yourselves. Play around with it. But yeah, that's the sum up, or summary of today. It's all done from here. And that is day number one of the actual training part. Overall, I mean, we learned a little bit. There was a lot of homework. I'm not going to show it off because, one, we're not done with it. My wife wasn't ready to do five, well, four, it was either four or five pages of homework. It's quite a bit. So we're going to have to sit in front of the computer for probably a good hour to get that done. Post a comment down below if you guys want me to show that, like in an update or in the next video. I can. I can show the homework. Um, I can't post, like, screenshots of it because it's against copyright. But I can, like, you know, hold it up and you won't be able to see it in detail, but I will, I'll be able to read it off for you if, if that's what you guys are interested in. I know I did it in the previous days, so I'm, I'm completely fine with that. But let us know down in the comments if that's the case. But that's it for today. Uh, like and subscribe to the channel for more of these videos. We're going to be posting them every day for the next, I think we got 22 days left. So stick around. All right, we'll see you.